Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've been out in my yard. I am suffering for you today because I am downwind of my chicken yard and it is not pleasant, but I wanted to sit here because I have a table. I have a lot to go over today. Namely, this sad little beat up box I got that we're going to do an unboxing of and play with some makeup out in the natural light. I know that's what a lot of you are here for and I have been remiss in filming my natural light makeup look. Thank you for coming back. If you are new, welcome. This is one of my favorite things to do is to be out in my yard and yes, this is my backyard. I usually sit farther out in the woods but it's very shady out there. Maybe the last time you saw this there weren't as many leaves on the trees. If you watch back through my other natural light videos you'll see this whole yard change so that's kind of cool but welcome back i'm so glad you're here and i am so glad to do this and you will hear chickens and ducks in the background they often go wandering around behind me so if you see something moving hopefully it's not a bear how many of you have heard of zc z-e-e-s-e-a you might have seen ads for ZC on Instagram. If you follow any kind of independent makeup brands, you probably see ZC ads pop up. I had to get the ZC British Museum. Um, this is called the Fireworks 16 Color Eyeshadow Collection. And this was done in conjunction with the trustees of the British Museum. I didn't peel the mirror off. I haven't done anything with this. I've had this for quite a while now. Look at the onk that is in the cover. Now this is the plastic cover that's over the makeup and look at that and I get out of the way so you can kind of see through it's see-through it's so cool this is just stunning but then look at these colors in case you're wondering is ZC worth it it's from China. You have it shipped all the way from China. Sometimes people are nervous about that. So today we're going to do Is ZC Worth It? Because this whole box, ZC had a sale. So I got this one first. And no, I haven't used it. Why? Can you see the pressings? There's an Ankh there. There's a little scarab beetle here. There are not names to the colors, by the way. And there's a King Tut and an Eye of Horus on these two here. Hopefully you can see all that. They're, they're really light pressings though. They're not raised pressings like some of them are. They're not like the Nomad pressings. I am fascinated by some of the colors in here though. And aren't they gorgeous? I don't even know if we're gonna use this palette today. I should because it was my first one. But before we do that, we are going to unbox the rest of the ZC and then we'll decide what we want to do. And don't worry because whatever I don't use in this video, we will do videos with all these ZCs. Let's do the biggie first. You might have seen the Alice in Wonderland palettes. Oh my God, wait. There's like liquid glitter in here and it moves. Okay, we need to get this out of the pack. Oh my God, it's wrapped in plastic. It's a good thing I brought my scissors out. I didn't even know that. Here it is. And this is kind of cool. There's like this glitter inside of here and she moves. On the box, it says, curiouser and curiouser. We're all mad here, of course, from Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God, this is gonna be a long video because just getting through what is going on with this palette right here. I am trying to get in the sun with this. I want you to see, I thought it was just glitter on the front. This whole cover is enclosed in like a liquid glitter and it is moving around and there are little diamonds in it. Like, see it moving? Oh my God. This is so well made. This does have a cover on it. Honestly, this is stunning. This is just stunning. And this is kind of bumpy, it's raised. Sorry about my birds making a lot of noise, by the way. Welcome to my life. Here is the palette. It does have a weird pressed glitter in it, but I don't hate it. Here are the colors. And they are really, really gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna swatch all of them, but I really love this with the little silver bow in it. The bow is actually silver in the middle of the blue and white. This does come with a brush and the brush feels like pretty good quality. Um, I don't usually like dual ended brushes because I put them in little things like this and I don't like to smush the brushes. There are pressings of the card suits in here. This is absolutely lovely though. You can't deny that ZC's packaging is just beautiful. I just went through this box. This is gonna be a long video. Here is this one. 
and this is the sugar skull one. Let me tell you, the wrap on these, they ain't joking. The boxes are pretty. They kind of have this multi-color shine to them with the raised designs. Really excited to see this one if I can ever get it out. And the... <coughs> this is some foolery right here. Finally. So they do have this wrap around them too. Finally, look at this. These are good for 12 months. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, can we talk about this little clear thing on here with the skull? How cool is this? <gasps> are you ready to see these pressings? The mirror does have this frosted glass cover again. Look at the pressings in here. I'm gonna try to get this as close as I can and hopefully we are focusing. <laughs> Do you see the skeleton parts? There's like music notes here and there's a heart here and there's a skeleton foot and there's a rib cage and his hands are there and he's kind of like dancing through the colors. That is probably one of the most unique pressings I have ever seen. There's only one really like chunky press glitter. These seem to only have each one real chunky press glitter in them. This looks like a press glitter too, but I'm loving this black. It kind of has like purple and pink, like purple and pink in it. Look at the glitters though. Look at the shine in these. Now you know why I don't like want to use these. These are like works of art. These are going to be displayed on a shelf in my studio. There's more. <gasps> I know a lot of you are cat lovers out there and I did get the cat one. Look at the, the shine though on this with the colors. Oh, hello ducks. I'm trying not to destroy the boxes. There's a lot of boxes I just recycle and throw away, but these, I think I might display the boxes with the palettes because they're so pretty. Look at her. the blue glitter with the silver on it and the raised cat. And this is this also does have a plastic sheet over it that you can peel off that I'm not, it's right here. I don't know if I wanna peel it off. I'm gonna peel it off. Not only is it blue and glitter, can you see the rainbow multicolors in there? Let's see what she looks like. <gasps> oh, look at the little cover. The cover is kind of little like playing cats and it's reflective, like metallic, reflective, rainbowy, and the four circles with the cats on them. Here are the shades. This one's more neutral, but it's cute. It's got kitty paws in the pressings. There's a little kitty nose and a mouth. There's a kitty peeking over the top and there's paw pressings in a couple of these. So this is a more neutral palette, but I still like it. I like the, the blues that are in here, really gorgeous. I am not peeling the mirror things off yet. And this is the last. Now I did buy these three as a set. These were on sale in a set. That's why I got these three. Finally got this one unwrapped. So let's pull her out and you're seeing it before me. What does it look like? <gasps> wow. Okay. Peeling that off and it is a pink glitter with the little sun design on it and the dragon going around. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. <gasps> oh, I know I keep doing that every time, but they're cherry blossoms. So there's like the cherry blossom plastic. Hard to see, I'm trying to get out of the way. There you go. It's got the little cherry blossoms on there. Look at this palette. Look at this palette. Look at the flower in the blue and the pressings. This is not as neutral as it's, I'm trying to get it in the light over here. It's not as neutral, there we go. Let me hold it up to the kitty cat. They're similar, but different. Just So this is the cat and this is the, you know, they complement each other, but there's a lot to play with here. Like I'm loving this gold orange kind of glitter color right here. Again, these don't have names. There's no names on these, but that's okay. I don't, I don't care. They're so pretty. Who cares? This color right here. I want to know what that looks like on this with these purple and pink and lilac kind of glitter reflex in it. There's like blue in there. <gasps> Let's do this peachy champagne kind of with the orange in it. These are really light colors, but they're so stunningly gorgeous. You could almost use these as highlighters. 
They're so pretty. They're super, super metallic. I want to see what this one looks like. This orange. What? Look at that orange. Look at that. Okay, now we have to do the black that's in the cat. This is like black that has multicolored glitter in it. There we go. If you're worried about the quality or the payoff with these, don't worry. They are, they feel luxurious. Look at this aqua. These are really unique too. I don't think I have anything quite like these colors. So there's those. So if you're worried about the quality of the makeup and saying, yeah, the palette's pretty, the artwork's pretty, how's the makeup? From what I'm swatching, the makeup is stunning. There's more. I forgot I also ordered two of the palace identity items. And if you don't know what these are, first of all, can we talk about this box and this packaging? This slides out. It did have seals on both sides. This is called Gold Dragon. Are you ready for this? This is a lipstick. This is for the person who appreciates fine art and makeup, me. Yes, it's a dragon. It is all metal and this is heavy. This is a heavy, heavy cap. Now, that's not all. Here's the lipstick. I have to be really careful with it. Try to get it really close. There is a raised design all the way around. It has like a light, like soft vanilla kind of scent. Kind of smells like vanilla. It's beautiful. There's also pressed writing on there. No, this was not cheap. I will put the links below and the prices and all. This is a collectible, gorgeous, gorgeous thing. And I had to try a little bit of everything. Oh, look at this. It comes in a black velvet pouch with the writing on it. I could already feel it's like all bumpy and fancy. Oh my God. This is again from the Palace Identity Collection. It has this little charm at the bottom. So again, you know, this isn't like throw it in your purse and go somewhere. This is the Peony Blush. It has the, the plastic over it that has a design on it. And look at the gold in the detail of the Peony on here. If you're wondering if I'm gonna use this blush, I think I'm gonna cry the first time I use it. I do wanna use, oh, that's pretty. Really pretty shades. And this is kind of like a highlighter over here. I got the Palace Identity lipstick and blush. And we have our kitty. And this was a collection of three that came in a pack of three. I got these together. Alice, because, you know, hello, I just wanted to. So this was the first one I got though, was the Ankh. So I'm kind of thinking, Look out, it's off. Now I have to use it. Look how big the mirror is the whole size of the pan. So if you're a person who likes a mirror, the mirror is the size of the pan. I mean, the whole front is a mirror, which is honestly, I love, and that is a high quality mirror. Holy shit, that's like an HD mirror. Wow. So I think we're gonna do this palette. So let's just dive right into it. And do my a little uh, kimchi chic headband on here to keep my hair out of my face. I have already done my whole face, foundation, blush, bronzer, powder, everything. I wanted to save time because I knew I just had these and I'm just terrified to, I can't use that blush. I'm sorry, I wanna test it, not yet. Maybe when I do one of the other palettes, but we are going to do this on ZC British Museum Firework 16 color eyeshadow. Again, no names, so if you wanna know the names, I can't tell you, I will just tell you what I'm using. Let's just dip right in with something. I'm not sure what to try first. I didn't really plan a look with any of these because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I am wearing Hourglass Foundation today. I'm using all my, all my stuff I use on my face was from my Project Pan. I will list it below. It's all things that I'm just trying to use up. Wow, I just don't even know what to do with this. There's so many possibilities with this. It's kind of overwhelming. I think we're just gonna start with a little bit of this guy. It's kind of like a brick but a little bit metallic. I think I will do two different eyes. I don't love my eye primer today. I will tell you that. I don't love it. Not crazy about my eye primer. I'm trying to use up project panning some things. Going over this with a little bit of this pink. Hear that weird noise? That's a squirrel. Ooh, I like this pink. A reddish pink right here. It's kind of like a rose. I like this color a lot. Pigment's nice. It's buildable for sure. You don't get like boom super pigment right away but i like that because it seems a little more buildable these feel like they're pressed really hard at least these mats i'm trying so far very hard pressed they're not crumbling apart i'm getting almost no fallout a little bit but it's not terrible and 
zero fallout on my face, which I love, especially with these pinks and reds like this. I mean, you can tell the pigment payoff is great on these, so no complaints there whatsoever. I have to try this color because I'm really liking these. It's a metallic. Oh, it's nice though. It's I'm getting fallout, but it's not terrible, and it's not a pressed glitter. It is a metallic, so that's nice. Let me get this way. There we go. It's very light though. Bruh. I'm going to have to try this because I just don't even know what that is. So this has yellow, blue, white. It has a green base to it, but it has all these. Oh, I've ruined it now. Let me see what that is. Oh, it just comes out to like a goldish, a very light goldish green. Interesting. You would think that would be very green. It's not. It's almost like a highlighter color. It's really interesting. It's not what I expected. I'm going to swirl it in here. It's like a real pale light greenish gold. It is beautiful though. That is a beautiful highlight color. This seems to be the perfect, perfect inner corner color. Yep, that is. Okay, yep. I think I'm gonna do this. It's like a, a hot pinkish red. Looks like a hot pink and purple glitter in it. I'm gonna do that right on my lid. You know, for how shiny these look in their pan, in the pan, the glitters in the metallics in here, the glitter in there is milled so fine that you get a shine to it, but it's not ridiculous glitters. If that's something you're looking for, then you might really like this. If you like some shine, but you don't want like an insane amount of glitter to it. I want to go in with this metallic green and see what this does. This is, now this feels more like a pressed glitter, this green. It's kind of mushing in there a little bit. Uh, hello. Look at that. This is one of the best pressed metallics I think I've ever used. Wow. It's staying right where I put it, which is pretty incredible. And I'm barely putting it on and look at what is going on here. You know what, I'm just gonna put this right over this pink. Okay, this shade ain't, she ain't joking. That is beautiful. This greenish kind of has a little bit of aqua to it. You know what I love about it though? It's not crumbling. The glitter is not crumbling and coming off under my eye. It's staying, you see, it's staying exactly where I put it, which is outstanding. That's pretty freaking impressive. Again, hardly any fallout. Off the bat, I can say this is like insanely, insanely high quality makeup. I want to use this white, but I just can't ruin the ankh right now. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this light reflective glitter. Oh, it's putting all kinds of glitter through my eyebrow. Okay, this is a super, super mega glittery eye look. We want to do something underneath my eye. I'm thinking maybe this gold. Oh, she's stunning this metallic bronze. I'm really smoking this out under here because I just really like it. I'm going to do some of this green through here. I live for this color right here. This is one of the best eyeshadow colors I think I've ever used. I'm gonna try this, that that weird goldy green that I said's a good highlight. Yeah, if you don't like glitter and you use these glitters, they're all over my face. It's weird because it's not like it's falling out necessarily. It's just, it's, it's like glitter galore. I'm touching up my brows a little bit here. This is my new uh, brow styler that I just got in my Boxy Premium. Okay, my eye is insanely glittery, and we're going to call that done. I'm going to do a little bit of this very metallic-y white. I'm going to get a big chunk of it on here as an inner corner. I'll put a little bit of this under here. I'm calling that done. I love it. It's kind of a grungy, I got a grungy reddish green. I really like that I have hazel eyes, so I think it really brings out my eye color. And now for something completely different. It's gonna look weird when I film my videos later, so if you watch my videos later, then yeah. Okay, I love this green. Love, 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 love this matte green right here. So pretty. I want to see what these will do, and I want to see what kind of things we can do with them. And as much as I love this eye, it's like, run away, don't touch it. I'm doing this green and this orange, orangey red. I'm back grunging out this eye. 
my battery died. I had to change my battery, but I got a little bit more of this eye going. I did this green, this orange, and this red. The nice thing about this, and this is a very good sign for this palette, is that these colors are not they're grungy, but they're not mushing together and turning to mud. You can see clearly see the green, the red, the orangey red color. That is excellent because when you mix green and red together, what do you get? Mush. Because they're complementary colors. They're opposite each other on the color wheel, so they will kind of cancel each other out a little bit. And I like that this is nice and grungy without killing the colors. If you can get these reds and different shades and have them blend together like this. It's great. They're really complementing each other. I like it a lot. So far, I gotta say this palette is a total win. I think I'm gonna have fun with all these palettes. I'm doing a little bit more of the opposite. I have more green on this side, more red on this side. I'm about to call this eye done because I really like it and I don't want to ruin it. What I'm going to do is the opposite. I'm going to take this crazy green that's on my lid here. I'm going to bring it right in here as And a little bit through here. And bring it up into this. I have kind of a weird line going there. And you can tell I'm not using a lot of these matte neutrals. This one and this one are real similar. This is more red, that's more orange. I'm loving all these red and orange colors in here. Really nice. A little bit of this. Now, see, if you start getting too crazy with this, you are going to mush it all together. I'm going to throw on some lashes and some eyeliner, and I will be right back, and we'll finish up this discussion of ZC, the fanciest, prettiest, most gorgeous, beautifully packaged makeup I think I've ever seen. Is it worth it? Oh, by the way, these mocha eyelashes that I talked about in my BoxyCharm Lux, this is what I'm wearing today. They're very pretty. I love Mocha Cosmetics. Woman of color owned brand. She is in New York, I believe. Beautiful woman. Check out Mocha Cosmetics LLC. I'll put a link below, but I love her makeup. I love her palettes. I love supporting indie brands. I'm gonna pop these on. I am back and I am all cleaned up. I have my Mocha lashes on. I love them. If you don't like big fluffy lashes, you won't like this particular kind, but these are really pretty. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on, which I love. These are called Maxine, and I really like them. They're super light and like wispy, but long. I think they look really good with these colors on my eyes. So here is the finished eye look with this palette here. Being attacked by ducks. There's a deer coming into the background. You might see it in a second. Oh my God, there's a deer. So this is the Ankh palette from the ZC British Museum collection. This was a journey, holy moly. I have also swatched every color right here on my arm for you to see. Let me put my glasses on because I am blind. So here's all the colors on my arm right there. It's a really interesting color story. I think it's really pretty. I think the the shades are really fun. You can do a lot with this. Tell the colors are pretty pigmented, but I do find they're buildable. These are a little bit more buildable than some of the crazy super pigmented palettes I have. So if that's a thing that you like and you like to have it be a little more buildable so you can have fun with it and really see what it can do like I just did here, you might really like that. I also used my OMFG latex free lash glue. I had to give this a shout out because I tried the pure lash glue and I had a reaction to it, unfortunately. I think it has latex in it and I don't have really hardcore latex allergies, but I do find I feel better if I avoid it. I use this latex free lash adhesive from OMFG. You know, I love them. I also used on my lips, this little Lottie London Stay All, Slay All Day long wear matte lipstick. This came in, I think my Ipsy bag. And I also got a little sample of a Becca Glow Gloss. I'm not sure the shade of this. It just says Becca Glow Gloss. Oh, rose gold. So I'm wearing these on my lips, my little sample sizes. Decided to try those out. And I did use a couple of my things from my boxies and my ipsies. I used some of this Tint Haze Eye Pencil. If you remember, we got a tint 
smoky eye pencil in boxy. I really liked it. So I actually got the uh, green shade. Uh, it's called Forest. I really like this a lot. I like the pencil. I like the way it comes out. I like the shade. And then this is Dosa Colors that came in, I think, another boxy. I get too many boxes. Maybe Birch Box, maybe boxy. It does have a little sharpener in the end, so that's kind of cool. So I used that. And that is that on all that. So let's see. We have all of these fun, fun palettes. And this I look. I can't wait to do all these palettes. I think we're just going to keep doing all these palettes. And no, I didn't do the lipstick or the blush. I'm um, sorry. I'm not doing it. At least not yet. My hair's looking a little crazy, in case you wonder what's going on with that. I bleached my roots and they came out kind of a rosy gold color. Thought it was kind of cute. Left it for a minute. This is cute, but I feel really washed out. I like that BAM color. So, and my earrings. How cute are these? There are little dinosaurs going nom, 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 nom on my ears. I got these at the Hot Topic outlet at the Crossings, which is a big outlet mall by me. So these are from Hot Topic. I will have a little video coming up in the next week or so on Jeremy and I going to the Crossings and doing kind of a little mini haul at the Crossings outlet mall. It was pretty fun. That was a fun day. So I got some cool stuff there. So stay tuned for that. Please come back. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me if you've seen these ZC ads. For these palettes, if there's any you would like to check out, I'd like to know. If you have tried them, what do you think of them? I like them so far. I mean, I like them so much. I'm very excited to play with these other shades. So let me know below, which one do you want me to do next? Uh, we have the Cherry Blossom, we have the Kitty, we have the Sugar Skull, we have the Alice in Wonderland. And don't ask me to use that red lipstick because I ain't gonna do it. I bet you want me to do Alice, don't you? Anyway, let me know below which one of these, Alice, Kitty. Well, I just did the Ankh, unless you want me to do another look with that. I ain't judging. Sugar Skull or Cherry Blossom. I'm feeling this one, but... So let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for going on this crazy journey to do this look with me, but I really like it. I really like these colors a lot. I'm going to film some unboxings for you now, so you'll see this makeup look some more. See you in the next one.